Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial and I want to teach you about color correcting. And there's two ways that I'm going to teach you and one of them is harder and I'm going to teach you that first because you can use it to tweak the easier way that I'm going to show you and uh, it's going to be pretty awesome when I show you the easier way if you didn't already know how to do it. So I'm going to show you a couple of effects on how or that we can use to uh, tweak color correction and um, show you how they work pretty much. I've got this video footage here of a lawnmower and it's pretty much just nothing. It's just uh, a, a lawnmower and it, I don't know, it shakes a little bit because someone decided not to use a tripod when they're doing it. I don't know. But um, I got this video footage from a guy who asked me to work on it and like clean up like some of the oil stains and make it look nice and glow and stuff like that. And I did it and I gave it to him and he never paid me for it. So now I'm just going to use this footage. So let's uh, get on with it. So I'm going to delete off this effect I already have. So I have no effects on this right now for color correction. So what we're going to come up to is a layer and there is a section. I mean effect, we're going to come up to effect, make sure your layer is selected is what I meant, come to color correction and we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Now uh, uh, most of these I haven't ever even used but there are a few that I use that are uh, pretty nice. So the ones that you want to stay away from, like the farthest away from are auto color, auto contrast and auto levels. So these are kind of like preset um, things that like I don't know they don't really work very well and let's uh, come down to the ones that do work so I don't have to even spend much time on those the first one I want to show you is called curves and this is used for taking out color or adding in color making things darker or brighter or whatever so we've got this line here and this line you can click on it and you can drag and it affects the color of the video here let me increase the size of this video. Let's uh, do fit to fit up to 100% or whatever. So we've got that there, and um, this line here represents the uh, middle of what's going on. So this, how it is right now, that's no effect has no effect on your color correction of your video whatsoever. So we look at this dotted line that's going down the middle right here and think of that as like your 50% uh, gray so right here is 50% gray same with this one going down the middle here and uh, these are think of these other ones as 25% 50% 70% so that's how you think of these lines going from left to right and from up and down this is 25% 50% and 75% and that'll make sense in a second so on the, the right of the uh, 50% uh, line going up and down is the uh, brighter areas go that's where the brighter areas are going to get affected so on the left of it down here at the bottom that's the darker areas getting affected if I click and drag from the left side here and bring it down the darker areas are going to get darker and as you can see, the bright uh, areas like the, the uh, lights and this um, reflection here didn't really get affected too much. If I bring it up higher, the darker areas like watch the tires or in the background and stuff like that, they're going to get brighter. And since the um, since we don't have any other points on it, the brighter areas are also getting affected because I'm moving the graph and that top part of the graph is also moving as well. Now you can click this button right here to reset it back to normal which is this straight line and you can add points in here if you want and you can move other points without having to move the points boat uh, around it so we'll, we'll uh, look at the uh, brighter side real quick so if I drag this part of the line down, it's going to make the brighter areas darker. Now it doesn't fully do it. Well, if I bring it all the way down, it's going to fully blow out all the bright areas. And it looks like this H in the middle is the brightest thing there is. Let me 
put that back up to normal and then if I drag this up the brighter areas are gonna get brighter like that fridge in the back is getting brighter and pretty much everything's getting brighter when you don't have any other points except for one on there you can also click and drag from this top point to bring the whole entire line down to brighten the entire scene or darken the entire scene so this one this way if you pull it down that that darkens the entire scene and if you pull this up from the bottom this will brighten the entire scene until it goes on to full white now we can also mess with uh, the different color values and not just the entire scene so if we click on this um, RGB drop down menu here we can go into red green blue and we can also mess with the alpha let's go into uh, red here and if I am up here in the brighter part it's gonna take the brighter red um, out if I bring this down and it's gonna turn everything into more blue and green so now there is no red in this because we have it all the way down at the bottom now if I can increase the red and make it pretty much all red so that's how that works now you can grab it from the middle at the 50% line and just like slightly adjust it to get like if you want to bring it down to get more of like a an ominous color there and uh, things like that so that's how you work with your color correction for at least using curves I'm gonna turn that off I'm gonna add another effect this time and this effect is going to be called uh, tritone so effect color correction and down at the bottom is tritone and uh, this one's a quick way to add like overall color to your uh, video so if you just want to uh, kind of like throwing like a piece of colored saran wrap over the top of your video almost so what we're gonna do is look at these highlights midtones and shadows the you want to uh, pretty much keep these um, in like the highlights you want to keep uh, brighter the midtones you want to keep in like a middle kind of color and the shadows you want to kind of keep in a darker color here we can mess with the colors and it'll mess here with the uh, different uh, values of on the uh, video here so if I come down to something like orange it's gonna make the overall orange but as you can see we don't want everything to be all this color because it's pretty stupid looking right now so what we want to mess with is the blend with original if I bring that up and just blend it in a little bit you can uh, see how it added more of like a blue color to it and uh, I'll uh, toggle the effect here and you can see how it actually affected the video